Good day everyone, I'm Stephen from University of Cape Town. This presentation is a brief introduction to sea ice permeability. The permeability of sea ice can be determined both empirically and experimentally. Empirically, the brine volume of sea ice is determined from the ice temperature and the bulk salinity. Thereafter, the permeability is obtained by substituting the brine volume into the porosity permeability relation. The falling head prototype was made in-house to measure the sea ice permeability experimentally. It consists of an 8mm pipe, a 110-50mm pipe reducer, a custom silicon sleeve, kerosene, a retail stand with clamps, and a bucket. The ice core is cut and placed into the silicon sleeve. The sleeve is fit tightly into the pipe reducer where it connects to the pipe. It is filled with kerosene and initial and final height of kerosene in the pipe were recorded before and after the experiment. The experimental permeability is calculated from the height difference of the kerosene and the areas of the ice sample and pipe. On the 2019 spring cruise, both empirical and experimental permeability tests were conducted on the same consolidated pack ice. The result is shown in this figure, whereas where the horizontal axis is the ice depth and the vertical axis is the permeability results. Um, a large scatter in the permeability measurement is apparent, and the shaded areas represent the 90% confidence interval. The experimentally determined permeability was consistent with empirical permeability, exhibiting a decline in permeability with depth. Our current falling head prototype has a few drawbacks, which can be improved in future iterations. Firstly, kerosene is a dangerous fluid before the test. Alternative fluids should be considered. Secondly, silicon sleeve can be easily damaged by the sharp corners of eye sample. A possible solution is to, do, is to divide the silicon sleeve into two halves. Thank you.